Today I'm going to teach you something about it unpivoting because if you have a table like this, importing it into Power BI might be a little bit tricky. Let's see at what we have. Basically in column A I have all the accounts. Basically I have revenue and costs. And then I have the periods from column B to G. And which means when, whenever a new month is added to the data set, you get a new column in your table. But normally what you should have is long tables with a lot of rows, but not a lot of columns. So there's no problem with importing this, but there's a few things you need to do in Power Query in order for this to work in Power BI. So let's jump over to Power BI and import this data. I'm in Power BI and when I click on Get Data, and I select web because actually this data is stored on a SharePoint folder and then paste in the link and click OK. The data from this Excel file is loaded into the into Power Query editor. Uh, first I need to select which of the sheets or which of the tables I want to load. In our case it's sheet 1 and then I click transform data in order for Power Query to really show up and for me to make some transformations. So this is what we get. And there's a few steps that have been added automatically. It's, it's the source and then the navigation and also the change of type. But actually the change of type, we don't even need this. Let's see what the data looks like before this step. Before this step, we actually have the periods correct, right? We have 2020 for the year 2020 and after the change type it's only 202 so first of all let's just remove this step that's already much better but of course we want to have the, the periods as the header and there is a function called use first row as header when we click it we now have the periods in the header but we still need to change the, the orientation of the whole table and in order to do this we need the function called unpivoting and basically I want to unpivot all columns except the first column which contains the account. In order to do this you right click on account and then select unpivot other columns which means that every other column is being unpivoted even if a new column, for example, in this case, July 2020, will be added to the data set later on. So unpivot other columns. And now I have the structure I want to have. I have only three columns. I have the accounts, the attribute, and the value. What's left to do is, of course, I want to change the attribute to uh, a date column. Let's change it to date. And let's also rename it. Um, rename and call it time and then let's see if our um, column types are correct the first one is text and then we have date and then we have a value and that's exactly what we need there's one more thing that's really important to do because you also want to know what exactly you did in Power Query Editor in the future. So it's a good idea to look at your applied steps and rename them. So let's see, we promoted the header, we changed the type, we did the unpivot, and then in change type, for example, we might want to rename this and say we change type of um, time column for example and once we're done with that we click close and apply and then a proper table is loaded into the Power BI data model which can be used for reporting so remember what you want to have is long tables but narrow tables and the function you will be using to do this is the unpivot function